Welcome back to Graphic Hunters, the place where creativity meets precision. In today's tutorial, we're diving into a clean and professional P logo design using a custom grid system in Adobe Illustrator. You'll learn how to build a structured grid from scratch, align your elements perfectly, and turn simple shapes into a bold modern logo, all step by step. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned designer, this method will help sharpen your skills and improve your workflow. So open up Illustrator and let's start designing. First, select the Line Segment tool and draw a straight line. Select the line while holding Alt, drag to create a copy, then hold Control and press D repeatedly to duplicate the line until you have five in total. If the lines aren't perfectly aligned vertically, no problem. Simply select all the lines, go to the Align panel, and choose Vertical Align Center to fix it. With all lines still selected, press Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus F to paste in front. Now rotate the copied lines by 90 degrees to create a cross grid. Great! You've created a custom grid that we'll use to build the logo. There's also a quicker way to create a grid. Select the Line Segment tool, right-click, and choose the Rectangular Grid tool. In the settings, set the number of horizontal dividers. A tip here, always keep the value two less than the total number you want for the most balanced result. This method will automatically generate a full grid and you can definitely use it to design your logo. But for this tutorial, I'll continue with the manually created grid, so I'll delete the automatic one. Now, let's start designing the logo. Pick the line segment tool again, and draw a line in the direction you want. If you feel like your line isn't placed accurately, press Ctrl plus Y to switch to outline mode. This view helps you work with precision. After checking, press Ctrl plus Y again to return to normal mode. Now, take the ellipse tool and while holding shift, draw a perfect circle inside the space formed by four lines. To duplicate the circle, press Ctrl plus C, then Ctrl plus F. Select everything, but hold Shift and click to deselect any extra line you don't want to modify. Now begin drawing the logo using the grid as your guide. Due to time limitations, I couldn't add a voiceover for the rest of the video. So please watch closely and follow along to understand the full grid-based logo design process.